Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our vi uh, fifth video in our series uh, how to uh, use uh, solid body parts in assembly design. The what we're going to do in this video is we're going to complete our crane model in our part environment, uh, which is uh, where the solid bodies come from, and we're going to put this together into an assembly. So what we did last time was we had our um, we had our uh, various uh, folders for our Boom 1 items, Boom 2 items, Boom 3 items. I created a new folder called Boom uh, Horizontal Items. So that goes with our horizontal support up here. And um, what we haven't done is we haven't updated our solid bodies yet. So we can open up that folder up here and go ahead and make sure that uh, all these are uh, actually adequately named. So I set a Cut Extrude 2, which is our, or Cut Extrude 3, which is our last item in our Boom 3 folder. We're going to call that just Boom. Three body. Oh, see, they, these ain't get named either. But I like to call them bodies just because they're differentiated from anything else that might be named in your uh, in your model. I think it's good practice to do that. Although I don't think there would be any interference. It's just fairly easy to follow. So hor horizontal boom, uh, you know, boom horizontal, or maybe horizontal uh, body would be okay. Just to keep it short. I don't want to dwell on this too long because you want to get back to modeling because that's where the fun is. But you want to make sure you're organized. That's one key here is you want to make sure you're organized in these three areas. Your solid bodies, your folders, and your configurations. So there's our boom uh, three items, or our horizontal items, as well as our boom three items. Let's go back to your configuration. Um, our completed model should show everything. Horizontal supports should just show that, and our boom one, two, and three should show those things. So let's go ahead and create a, another configuration. Uh, if you right-click in this, go to Add Configuration, we're going to call that Vertical Support. Green check mark. What we want to do is we want to suppress the horizontal support uh, uh, folder down here. And one thing you'll notice here too, by the way, uh, you can delete these folders and really not cause any conflicts with the model because remember these folders are independent. Everything inside that folder is independent and there's no references outside of the model. So you reorganize the folders, move the furniture around as you see fit, and you won't have any conflicts. Another added benefit too, use the solid body parts and assembly design. So we want to get our uh, vertical support items to be exclusive to that folder, which it is right now. It was unsuppressed as I took that rollback bar and moved that down. But you also want to make sure that your complete model also has that vertical support in it too. If it doesn't, you just have to go to the folders over here and unsuppress them. And then finally, our base loft. We don't have a configuration for that, so let's go ahead and do that. Add configuration. We'll call that uh, base. And when we do that, we want to make sure that we suppress all these other ones except for the base loft. Right click on that. Suppress. And our complete model should have everything in it. Which it does. Perfect. Alright. Now comes the fun part. The assembly. Let's create a new assembly. Let's go to File. New. Let's go to Assembly. Uh, just as an inch so we're going to choose the inch assembly. And uh, very simply, we have one part to choose from. So we're going to click on that guy and just go to the green check mark. And what it does is it puts our whole model in there. So, not very satisfying. It doesn't move. But what we can do is we're going to take each one of these configurations and we're going to uh, um, highlight that as being uh, that single part within a part within that assembly. So we're going to right click and go to parts or go to properties and we're going to pick the, the configuration we want to use and the first one we're going to use is the base. So we're going to go to OK. Now let's go ahead and turn off our uh, sketches. We don't really need these anymore. So we're going to go to our right sketch and our front sketch. And then our uh, top boom sketch, we're going to go ahead and suppress all those so we don't see those anymore. Just hide them. So there's our element. It, it's uh, appropriate to have the base uh, being fixed, so we're going to uh, stick with that. And very simply, to do this, if you press the control key down now and then select your part, just drag that same part out, go over here, go to, par uh, go to properties, and we're going to build it up from the bottom. We're going to a little bit different direction than what we did before we did the booms first. We're going to start from the base and work our way uh, up from there. So we're going to pick vertical support. It's going to be next. And uh, boy, that didn't work out quite right. We shouldn't have the base and the vertical support. Let's go back and get that thing fixed. Let's go back to vertical support. And we got two elements in there. So let's go in into our base loft. Let's just go ahead and suppress that because that shouldn't be there. And then control tab takes us back. Let's take that sketch. We're going to turn that off so we don't see it anymore. 
think if we did this in a, in that uh, environment, uh, in the part environment, we wouldn't have to do this again. So, let's do this. Let's go to mates. I'm going to click on this face rather than an edge, and we don't have any choice but the edge over here, and we're going to mate those together. Uh, it's always better to use a face if you can when doing mating. Uh, what is not as good as, but adequate in this situation is to use an edge. But, uh, you know, a mating relationship that doesn't work out very well at all sometimes, or using vertices as vertices is, uh, don't work out uh, very well at all, so you might want to keep that in mind. Okay, so now that we have this in place, we did a coincident mate with the bottom of that, we have a part that uh, simply rotates around, kind of what we want. So let's get that back in the orientation that we're used to. Uh, control key again, select in that face, let's pull this thing out, right click, go to properties, go to horizontal support, go to OK. Ow! Gotta go back and fix that too? Oh well, easy enough to do, let's go to our configuration, go to horizontal support, and suppress the things out we don't want. So we don't want the base or the loft, so let's go ahead and suppress that. And while we're here, let's turn off these sketches. We don't want these either. Sometimes you do if you want to do some continue if you want to continue to model in uh, that environment, in the, the assembly environment, you could do that too. Okay, suppress that or not suppress it, but we're gonna hide it and then hide that too. Okay, so we should be in pretty good shape there. And let's put this what 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 the Let's go ahead and rebuild that. Did we not get that base out of there? Let's try that one more time. Well, there it is. Thought we suppressed that. Okay. One thing that's uh, one uh, bit of relationship or a relationship we use between these two configurations of the same part is the right plane. Let's make that right plane. Let's show the right plane to each other. So we're going to take the right plane of the horizontal support and the right plane of the vertical support. We're going to make those together green check mark. Now we want to have a little bit of flexibility here too, so we're going to take that edge, or not that edge, but that face and this face, we're going to mate those together. And that should complete that. So that goes up and down, and this thing rotates, so we're in pretty good shape. The model's coming together pretty quick. Control key to press. Click in this guy. Pull that out. Right click. Go to properties. And guess what? We're going to do boom three. Go to OK, and mm, I don't know what happened here. Kind of embarrassing, I think, when I and suppress uh, some of these things that, uh, you know, you know and, su and suppress them all for a lot of the different um, configurations. So let's go ahead and get that fixed once and for all. Let's go to Boom 3. Go to the folders that we don't want uh, to be visible there. It's going to be these last three. Suppress those. Suppress that. And uh, let's go to our other configurations. I think what we can do is we can just turn off sketches in our uh, assembly so that we don't see those other ones. We're going to take these three elements. We're going to suppress those so we don't see those again. Why base off? We have to suppress that a second time. I don't know. And then finally, boom one. Yeah, boom one's all by itself. Okay, easy enough to fix. Let's go up here to our um, uh, hide show items and let's not see sketches. We don't want to see sketch relations, but we don't want to see sketches anymore. Okay, so the same thing we did before. Our last two elements we have down here in our feature manager tree is going to be, if we stretch this out, you can see it. We have our horizontal support and a boom. Let's go ahead and open those two items up. Again, like we did before, we're going to click the, the right plane for both of those, and we're going to mate those together. So with the control key to press, we're going to go to mate, put those together, green check mark, green check mark over here. And uh, we're going to take that uh, surface of that hole and the surface of this hole and make those together. Now we're in pretty good shape. Now we do have a little bit of interference here, so we might want to change, and we'll do this here as an update here in just a little bit. Remember when we put this, uh, this structure in here for support, uh, we made it a little bit too wide. We made it coincident with uh, the width of uh, the horizontal support, so we're going to make that a little bit thinner. But we're going to put the rest of this together first. So there's our boom three, control key, drag that guy out, right click, go to properties, go to boom two, I think you have the idea here of how we're going to put this together. And then uh, we're going to take our last two elements down here, expand those open, again the right plane, which is shared by both of them, and we click on that, 
for our boom three and our boom two, we're going to click on that, go to mate, put those two together. And this time we're going to do the with mate. So we're going to do the with mate in this direction. So a nice thing about 2014 is we can click all the elements of our with mate, uh, all four elements of the with mate first, and then go to mate, and it's automatically going to consider the with mate as, uh, as that, uh, for that selection. Pretty easy. Now we have a little bit of interference here too. I'm not certain what that is. It doesn't look our shell like our shell went all the way through on our boom three. So we're going to have to kind of look at that and figure that out, figure out how to fix that. But uh, these are all edits that can be done on uh, our time, your time. I'm not going to show you, show them uh, here in this video. We're going to right click on this again. One last thing. We're going to go to boom one, and we're going to make that in a very similar manner that we did before. So I think that's enough for this video. I'm going to go into a conclusion with the second video. I'm going to show you how to make a small, uh, some small edits to these models that don't necessarily involve the, the, the design sketches that we've been using. Because right now, as long as we make sure that we, when we make edits to these models that are extra, that aren't part of the generalized model geometry in the design sketches, we can just make sure that they're within the folders that they should be. And we should be in pretty good shape in regard to having them not show up in the other configurations. So thank you for joining me. We will talk soon.